Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, often with beach, travel, or Hugo themes. I also do books, beauty, jewelry, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. And that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, which is usually at least once a day, whenever I announce giveaways and whenever I go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here. and welcome back. Today I have one of my favorite boxes to share with you. It's actually a limited edition holiday box from Huguet in a Box, which is a quarterly lifestyle subscription out of Canada. They have two different sizes for that quarterly box. They have the smaller box, which always has four to six items from Canadian makers, and that is $74.99 Canadian plus shipping. And then they have the larger size, which always promises seven to nine products. That's what I highly suggest that you don't feel the FOMO. And that is $114.99 Canadian plus shipping. I believe the shipping at the moment to the US is $28. So if you do that larger size, you're looking at a total of about $110, $115 US, but I think it is well worth it. The two sisters that own and curate this box do such a fantastic job, not only on the quarterly subscription, but on these limited edition boxes. Now, if you are interested in subscribing, you can use the code NOEL10, that will save you 10%. And then when you're a subscriber, you often get a nice discount on the actual limited edition boxes that usually come out, I would say almost once a quarter. So if you get in on all of the limited edition boxes, you may wind up with a total of uh, eight boxes, which is just right for me. So I did go ahead and purchase the larger size of this holiday edition because last year I got it as well. And it was so, so beautiful and so lovely. And again, I just think it is one of the best boxes that is out there. So let's go ahead and get into it and see what we have got. So it always comes in this very nice, very Huga kind of box, kind of rustic. I actually use Use these a lot for storage because they stack so nicely and their kind of emblem is the pine cone they kind of did a little rebrand so it's this very like modern pine cone now now I did do a quick peek into this box because I've had it for a couple of days and I reached out to them and asked like you know I don't know if there's a product card because usually they do have a pretty extensive product card that tells us about the companies that are featured in there as well as the actual items and they told me that they didn't actually do a product card this time because they were kind of waiting to see with all of the crazy shipping delays and weather things that have been been happening, what products would actually be included in the box, which I think is a really wise decision, but they were kind enough to actually send me a pretty uh, extensive printout so I can share with you all the information, but I tried not to look at it too much because I wanted to have that element of surprise as I unbox it with you. So we will uh, go ahead and take a look together. So I did pull out some of the cards that I did find inside so that I could see if there was a product card. I was kind of like poking around, trying not to uh, ruin the surprise. But here is what it looks like on the inside. I love this sage green paper that they have. And then of course that like nice big pink sticker that says Huget in a box. Just in case you are not familiar with the concept, Huget of course is the Danish concept of coziness, comfort, warmth, savoring the slow and simple things in life. So it is a great uh, lifestyle way of life that I think is so nice to have incorporated and represented in a subscription box because sometimes it's like self-care. We just sort of need that permission to take time to slow down and savor. But this is the perfect season, of course, to really experience and enjoy and create Huguet in your own life. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let me go ahead and hold it up. I did not manage to uh, get that tissue paper out without uh, kind of tearing it, unfortunately. One of these days I'll have to ask them to send me some extra tissue paper so that I have it for photos. They always have like the coolest crinkle. It's like also like I don't know how it is but somehow they find crinkle paper that is actually Huguet. It's very like thick and chunky and amazing for repacking things. So let's just take a look at the things that did appear in the box. They did include some like business cards from some of the makers. They did include a sheet that has exclusive promo codes from the makers which I think is a really nice um, bonus. So if you wanted to look at any of them. Now I will be taking some photos over on Instagram and I do my best to uh, tag the businesses of the products that I feature but that I am a few weeks behind right now in my photos. I'm hoping to catch up in the new year, but I will tag them in case you're interested. And if there's any products that you're really interested in finding out more about, you want their Instagram handle, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to uh, look for it. Now they always include a fantastic recipe and this time you guys, this sounds really good. It's mom's whiskey bread pudding. So just this little like slice right here, this little image. Oh, that sounds so good. Anything with whiskey during the holiday season, I'm like, yes. It says there's nothing better than savoring our mother's bread pudding on a crisp winter day with a hot drink, a recipe she 
she likes to have as a secret family favorite, but is happy to share for the sake of a Huga inspired moment. Feel free to play around with the recipe with your favorite organic, dairy free, and gluten free products. So, of course, you can make those replacements. And then they did include a nice letter. It says, hello, Higa friends. Happy holidays and welcome to your special edition Higa holiday box. What a year 2021 has been. This box has been designed to provide you with items to help you find some meaningful, cozy Higa moments. You may be asking exactly what is Higa. Higa is a Danish word meaning a quality of coziness and comfortable conviviality that engenders a feeling of contentment or well-being. Well, that was much better said than what I said. It says, simply put, it's when you're cozy and you feel good about it. You can use warm slippers, a cup of hot glug, or just a good meal to achieve Hugo. It's the feeling, not the cause. That's what's important. So I think that's awesome. It goes on to tell us a little bit more about the products and kind of the inspiration, the intention behind it. They often include some pine cones that they find out and about there in Canada. It's a simple way to bring the outdoors in, which is an integral part of creating a Hugo home. I love that element of nature that is incorporated into the concept. So there's one that's floating around here. I have my little collection of Hugo in a box pine cones sitting right in front of me in a little dish on my desk. I'm kind of running out of space, but I love having them. So let me just go ahead and uh, put this off to the side. Like I said, I did print out all the information um, and we will just go ahead and find out what our first item is. So Oh, it is a nice, delicious treat that is already giving me the Hugo vibes. It's from a company called Lollies. It's handcrafted marshmallows, you guys, and I am so into handcrafted marshmallows. Um, this is in the flavor of snickerdoodle, so I think you can kind of see it has that like snickerdoodle look to it, some cinnamon sprinkles. So let me go ahead and find some information about these guys, you guys. Again, I have like several pages of stuff to go through, so you're going to have to bear with me as I find everything. They did have some very variations it looks like on a couple of the products where they weren't necessarily able to get a ton of uh, quantity of one thing so that there was going to be some variation in terms of what you got in your box so let me know if you got any of the opposite things of what I got so not opposite but the other variations so it does say that Lolly's is a family run business operating in the South Caribou area of British Columbia we began our journey in 2015 and started selling our products at the South Caribou farmers market in 100 mile house British Columbia with the sort of the local Local community and their excitement for our marshmallows we've grown into our online store as well as having our marshmallows available for purchase at local retail locations so I think you can only get these if you're in Canada you guys but let's see it says we got marshmallows uh, snickerdoodle perfectly paired with the Lux hot chocolate Oop, there's a little spoiler for you in a s'mores uh, or on its own oh my gosh these would be so good in s'mores that sounds amazing so it's vanilla flavored marshmallow swirled with a cinnamon sugar filling and topped with a dusting of cinnamon sugar uh that is so awesome so there's a dozen of the uh, marshmallows in there and they are all exactly one and a quarter by one and a quarter. So they'll just look so perfect on the top of that nice cup of hot cocoa, which I am so excited about. So let's go ahead and see what else we've got. I've got another nice big pouch. This is from Didiri Naturals. It looks to be a uh, Woodlands bath soak. I just got something else in the like scent of Woodlands and it was that nice aromatic kind of piney fresh scent. I don't know if that's like a kind of like well-known scent of Woodlands, but if it smells anything like the last product that I got I am all about it so let me go ahead and see what I can find about this again we'll, we'll kind of have to like uh, slowly narrow it down as I get through some of these pages so of course uh, you guys know that I am not a bath girl I am definitely a pro shower steamer but I know that you can use these as a great foot soak as well and of course I can always share them with my bath loving friends so it says Dadiri the concept of inner deep listening and quiet still awareness a tuning in experience to deeply understand the beauty of nature so it's like forest bathing to the max it says Dadiri Naturals takes care to respect the environment while using packaging that will keep our products safe for you we use minimal packaging and wherever possible we use biodegradable craft material when necessary we've chosen to use number one peat plastic which means that it is recyclable everywhere so please recycle take comfort in knowing our products are good for you and your world so bring the scent of the forest into your bathtub as the woodsy blend of essential oils ease sore muscles and tired minds whether you spend your days shredding fresh powder biking through trails or swimming in lakes the soak is the perfect end to your adventurous day so you just put the desired amount in 
into your tub and swish it around. So again, it sounds fantastic. And I believe that they are from Manitoba. So um, I have not been doing any big like outdoors adventures lately. I did go into REI and I could see that there were a lot of other people that were doing a bunch of like outdoor adventures, but it did kind of get me like jonesing to be out in the mountains. So hopefully I have the opportunity to do that. I have a quick little weekend trip planned towards the end of January that will give me some of that uh, hopefully snow and uh, actual outdoors experience. All right, we have something uh, that goes with our marshmallows, which like I said, we kind of got hinted at before, and that is our hot chocolate, which I'm super excited about. This is from Lemon Lily, which is a brand that we have actually had in a Hugo in a Box before. They're located in Toronto. It says our organic tea and superfood powders are available at 600 plus quality locations across Canada and the United States. Lemon Lily makes 100% natural and beyond organic teas, which are free of artificial flavors, glutens, and GMOs. We're also nut-free, vegan, and and fair trade. We work with top tea estates and organic farms from around the world, adopting modern and traditional practices that have created some of the most exciting and delicious teas in Canada and around the world. I know it's a very like faint package, so I'm trying to see if I can get that to focus for you guys. But it's this very like light colored lemon, and then it just says a Lux hot chocolate. It says this is a very high end chocolate, hence why there is a smaller portion than you may normally see. Imagine the best Peruvian cacao in the world transformed into the most beautiful organic hot chocolate on the planet meet lux l u x it says um Cocoa powder is at the core of a chocolate's flavor. We naturally alkalize it or dutch to neutralize cocoa's acidity. The end result is rich and wonderful chocolate. Our sweetened Lux is more sweetened than our original for those who enjoy these sweeter things. It is organic, natural, and vegan. So you just put a teaspoon of the chocolate into three ounces of hot water, um, and of course in your favorite mug or cup, and then you top it with another uh, four ounces of hot water and then stir until dissolved. So that's kind of awesome. So it does say that you can use it with um, water and you don't necessarily need to use um, milk or a dairy product, you can add froth milk to top off and stir. So it must be like that rich that it doesn't necessarily need like that kind of thicker base of um, a milk or milk substitute. So um, I will definitely play around with that because I am so excited. I have plans to uh, have a nice evening in. I've been, the reason I'm so behind on all of my other things is because I'm really trying to savor and enjoy this season and take time to spend with my husband. Um, speaking of which, this is is so lovely. I did have, we had a really good night when we were decorating our tree. This is from Poco Loco, which I just think is really cute. And this little ornament, it's like a felt and embroidered ornament, so sweet. It says Poco Loco curates unique, high quality artisanal goods from around the world for the home and life of thoughtful consumers who like to collect and give beautiful and meaningful items. Unlike big box supply chains, Poco products are ethically traded through personal travel adventures. Each item has a story that enriches all by connecting the maker, collector, and earth. I love that. That kind of like makes me want to travel again because I love picking up items um, and having them for my tree. It's kind of a nice uh, way to have your memories of the different trips that you've gone on as well as family members of course when you're putting your tree up every year. So it says these ornaments are made by female victims of domestic and sexual violence organized together as a group of artisans. I love this. Uh, by three Peruvian female entrepreneurs these makers carefully cut a synthetic felt base into a shape then hand embroider each ornament's design with an alpaca blended yarn. Their artisanal work gives each of these women sustainable income sources for themselves and their families. The female makers of these ornaments collaborate with Poco on designing each ornament and then once a prototype is finalized the women start the production of hand making each and every piece. While many are great for festive hangings and trees, some are timeless and can be hung from plants, windows, car mirrors, and more. A great addition to gift wrapping as a gift tag as well. They're sure to bring a bit of joy and hope into your space. So I love that. I'm super excited to put that on my tree. I also love how lightweight it is so it's not going to like make any of my um, tree branches sag down because we do a real tree so sometimes those branches aren't quite as hardy for the giant um the giant ornaments that people are making these days. So then we have an item from Ampersand. So I think there's a couple items from Ampersand. This is really cool. It looks like a matchbox almost. So it says Spark Good Cheer, 50 ways to get festive. It's got this really pretty foil box. And then it does look like it slides open. Let me see if I can get that to slide open. So it does look like a matchbox, right? So I'm wondering what these little cards say. So there were two different kinds of Spark boxes. You could get the Spark Gratitude box. And then I got the Spark 
spark good cheer box which is super fun it says kindle the holiday spirit the new addition to the best-selling spark series is a sweet way to spark seasonal joy for loved ones or for yourself this is a gift that will make spirits bright inside the gilded matchbox are 50 faux matchsticks featuring prompts to light up your days with joy love and peace oh my gosh i love that a fun unique way to light a spark slide open the shimmering box to reveal 50 decorative matchsticks then pick one and follow the prompt for wintertime merry making um so, so there's some sample prompts but look how cool these are i went ahead and took the uh, plastic wrap off for you guys so here is we'll go ahead and pull one out so it does look like a big match it's got kind of snowflakes on one side and then here it says let's see what our prompt is it says ask older people in your life about their best holiday memories that's so cool i love that what a great like conversation starter something that you can do like after all the presents have been unwrapped so that's a great item love that already gave me the warm Hugo fuzzies so of course we had to have a candle now my label unfortunately got a little bit damaged in shipping I don't know how that happened so this is a wild flicker uh, frostbite is the scent but look at this you guys this is just this huge candle but I don't know what got stuck to it it looks like like glue or something so I'll have to see what that was but I'll uh, do my best to uh, kind of edit that out when I take some photos of it I cannot wait cannot wait to burn this so it's all natural soy wax candle hand poured in small batches oh my gosh that smells so good it says at wild flicker we remove all the unnecessary ingredients and only use high quality products to produce the best product possible so it says take a deep breath and enjoy the crisp winter air a blend of eucalyptus and peppermint that is so nice and it's not super duper strong on the peppermint it's just right approximate burn time 47 hours so i love 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 that phthalate and paraben free of course contains no animal byproducts or testing recyclable or reusable jars and they are out of ontario canada Ooh, this is cool. So we have gotten something like this before. I don't know if it was from the same company. This is from Celux Organics. It's candy cane beach glass soap. So these are so cool. It comes in this jar, but it really does look like beach glass, you guys. And it looks like we have like kind of a gradient here. There's some white, there's some more amber colors. Of course, there is amber beach glass. And it's so great because it's like a single uh, use piece of soap. So it's a great thing to have out in your guest bath, for example. So everybody can just uh, scrub away, make sure their hands are nice and clean, but it looks so pretty out in a bowl. So let me see if I can find, where did this go? I know I saw it on here somewhere. So Sealux is drenched in Canada's pristine coastal waters. So love this, got a little reindeer there on the front that I want you to see. Sealux is inspired by the wisdom of the waves, grateful for the abundance of ocean elements from coastal British Columbia we pour blend stir and sift healthy ingredients infused with the Pacific Ocean's natural bounty into our products new to our Christmas lineup is our festive candy cane beach glass our single serve soap is peppermint scented and colored with red white and green to evoke happy memories of decorating the tree and opening presents and it smells so good a little pepperminty a little uh, candy cane going on there so super into that and then I think that we have got just a couple more items so oh this is something that I have totally been needing you guys it is a candle snuffer oh I'm so excited so this is from wild flicker as well they are the creators of that beautiful candle using a candle snuffer allows you to snuff out your candle after each burn snuffing your candle helps it burn cleaner and is the safest way to stop burning your candle instead of blowing it out where the smoke just keeps like flowing through your house forever and ever so awesome I'm super excited about that now I just need a wick trimmer too so this is the other item where there were some variations you could have gotten one of two different cookbooks this is also from ampersand so I got the uh, apre all day cookbook there was also a platters and boards cookbook so this is exciting it's a nice hardcover edition you guys it says for ski bumps and non skiers who enjoy the snow here is a cozy winter cookbook of 65 more more than 65 hearty recipes plus beautiful photography that captures the apre ski culture and a mountain town life so beautiful beautiful inspiring pictures you can see right there Apre Ski is more than just an afternoon beer in the lodge. It's an opportunity to gather with friends and family over delicious food and drinks during the cold winter months. Look at that food, you guys. This cozy cookbook invites home cooks of all levels to embrace the Apre culture all season long, whether they're the first skier on the slopes in the morning or the non-skier who prefers to snuggle up by the fireplace. So I'm definitely that non-skier, but I have not gone snowboarding or skiing in many years. But whenever I did, that was like my favorite part. Like when I went to Whistler, 
I loved the apres ski culture and I could go all day knowing that I was going to get to cozy up next to a nice outdoor fire pit with some hot toddies, some delicious drinks. I mean, you guys, apres ski is where it's at. So let's just go over all of the awesome stuff that we got. We got that frostbite candle, the beautiful copper snuffer, it's musical as well, our apres all day cookbook, the luxe hot chocolate from Le Lemon Lily, our um, spark gratitude, 50 ways to spark joy or good cheer. And then we also got, of course, our candy cane beach glass soap, our hand embroidered ornament, and do not forget those amazing looking marshmallows. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was I have to say this whole box was phenomenal as always I hope to see you all very very soon in my next unboxing